Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Well, welcome to Pennsylvania. We've got a unique and wonderful hoarding job today. A gentleman passed on, he was old, but he collected a lot of stuff and it got pretty messy. Most of the stuff that we're pulling out, at least the stuff that we're throwing away, is at least 30 years old, 40 years old. A real hand grenade. The good news is it's empty. The guy had a lot of guns, but he made his own ammunition and there's a whole ammunition table. Welcome to Pennsylvania. I'm Jonathan Smolo. I'm the owner of Spalding Decon Philadelphia. And we've got a unique and wonderful hoarding job today. A gentleman passed on, he was old, but he collected a lot of stuff and it got pretty messy. So that's what we're doing. We've bid this job as a four day, five person per day job. And there's a tremendous volume of scrap metal. There's a tremendous volume of stuff. We don't even know what it is, but these are the kind of jobs my guys love to do. They're fun, they're different and I hope you enjoy it as much as we'll enjoy doing the job. Let's take a look at the house first. There's a whole garage that's a whole nother world. Let's go into the house, we'll walk around as the job is just beginning, and you'll see how crazy it's gonna be. Let's take a walk. All right, come on into the kitchen. The smell is a little bad. It's not horrible, but it's, it's bad. So here's the kitchen, uh, a mess. Down there is a basement. It's in horrible shape. We'll go down there later, take a look at it. In here is, I guess, a living room or a den. This is going to be an interesting room because there's a lot of paper. As owner, and I'm an old guy, I do all the paperwork. I go through it all to make sure of what do we keep, what don't we keep. That's my excuse for not doing the heavy lifting at my age. <laughs> From the den into the living room, as you can see, there's a lot of paper. There's a lot of stuff, but we've had situations in the past where we've had to shovel our way in the door. And I mean literally shovel in. There's no way to walk through the house without shoveling. We're not doing that here. But you can see, it's gonna be a, a mess to clean. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let the camera do its own work once we get up. Rooms on both sides, it's pretty gross. Prepare yourselves. And then we'll head upstairs. There's another floor. There's a third floor. It's only one room up here, but as you'll see, it's pretty disgusting. And all the way around on the side, too. Yeah, let's go down to the basement. There's one thing I do want to show you over here. The guy had a lot of guns. The guns have been taken away, but he made his own ammunition and there's a whole ammunition table and bullets and stuffers and God only knows what I'm not a gun person, but a lot of stuff here that the lawyer for the estate is coming over this afternoon to make some cuts of what he wants to do with it and how he wants to do it. One of my guys is a certified gun guy and wants to keep some of this equipment, but we don't do that without permission, obviously. So we'll have that discussion with the lawyer and the executor this afternoon. Got a grenade right here, it's deactivated. So it kind of spooked us, but you know, usually you don't really find live grenades lying around. A real hand grenade. The good news is it's empty. That's why we can handle it. But it's real. We found, interestingly, his last will and testament. Hmm. Interesting. My job is to go through all the paper. You can see the paper gathering. They've been requested that we look for certain things, so I'm looking for those. I get to do the paperwork. It's a water pump. Oh, yeah. I think it's a water pump. Box, pump something. Place. I don't know. Pumps liquid, but they're pretty expensive, so we'll put that aside so they can sell it if they want to. This is an uh, empty ammo box. Looks like an older, like military crate. Let's see if I can get it. open it. I don't know. I just know what I do. So there's just some stuff up here that we got to go through. 
back there we got some tools so it's really just this whole area is opened up pretty well so we can actually do some some efficient work in here now 12 gauge so you don't really want to throw that in a dumpster probably won't go off but might anytime you find these you want to put them aside and ask the uh the customer what they they want to do with it these are all live rounds these are all spent casings I wanted to separate them there's some live rounds down there too but they were all corroded so they're even if somebody wanted to salvage them i don't think they could I found a scope hmm. i don't I mean it's probably just for an air gun like it doesn't really look like like anything serious the glass is all foggy so it's not really too usable unless you get it restored by a professional. Hey, I'm Sal. This is actually a, a pretty big hoarding job. Usually the hoarding jobs we do are a little bit smaller than this, but it doesn't have anywhere nearly as cool stuff as this place has. A lot of ammunition, gun cleaning supplies, weird chemicals here and there, like cold blue. A lot of really, really cool tools, like a little mini lathe. There's a lot of stuff you really don't see every day. So this is by far my favorite hoarding job we've done so far. All right, uh, what, what do like your friends and family think about you doing this kind of weird job? My friends think it's really cool. Some of my friends actually kind of want to hop on and, and experience it, go for like a, a ride along situation. My family likes it, obviously, you know, part of my family works here with me. So they think it's really cool. Find, uh, find jewelry all the time. Never know if it's really going to be real, but it's never really worth it to try and check. Basically, you clean one room when you're doing a hoarding job, and it seems like the next room, all the stuff seems to pile in there when it gets bagged up. So you get one room clean, and then that room that you cleaned gets filled again. So it's just a little bit of a long process. It takes a little bit of time, because you never know what you're grabbing at. You gotta go slow. If you grab something too hard, you could be grabbing razor blades, the diabetic needles. I got it. Yep, I'm good. Yeah, I'm stuck on the floor here. Perfect. That's all I needed. Yeah. Hey, I'm Tommy with Spalding Decon. These hoarding jobs are actually amazing. There are certain things that we'll find that are just unique that you won't find anywhere else. Sometimes they're sad. Uh, more so often than less often. Most of the stuff that we're pulling out, at least of the stuff that we're throwing away, is at least 30 years old, 40 years old. He's got some bottles of alcohol in there that are from uh, before 1970. Some of them are whiskeys. Some of the whiskey that he has in this house, even though it's old. And even though it's open, people will still buy it. There's a lot of expensive things that you find in places like this that uh, you don't know they're expensive until you actually get to see them and you look them up and you do your research. But uh, I found out that a lot of the things that we end up throwing away can be very valuable. Sal is my brother. Uh, I have another brother who works here. His name's Chuck. It's pretty much a family thing for us. It's, it's pretty cool. I check this out. Where's Leatherface at? No! <laughs> There's more in here. Oh, no. Do you think they ever looked not awful? I was thinking about that. Like, like when, was there when, ever a point in time? Whenever whatever. someone first bought them, if they were like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Is that a platinum album? I think so. Maybe. Wandy? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is like a. It's like uncomfortable antiques. <laughs> In most hoarding jobs, we invariably find hundreds of dollars in coins. And then we go to the casino. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, it's in pretty bad shape though. That's a banana. That was a banana. That's a banana. Is it? Like, you know how, like, obviously you don't want to be eating the things in the cabinet here, right? Yeah. There's a guy who tests old foods from houses like this. He goes to like uh, auctions and estate sales and he buys the old food from the cabinets and he records himself opening it up and taste testing it depending on what it was. If it's safe from lead, you know? My name is Lindsay. It's my first day at Spalding Decon. It's not so bad so far. I'm enjoying myself. I actually was a fan of the YouTube series. And when I saw that they had a location in Philadelphia, I submitted my resume and here we are. And now you're the star. Yay. They give you a list of stuff to keep or? Uh, well, there's a list of things that the, the customers were asking that we keep an eye out for. Silver jewelry, gold jewelry, working tools. I've never been asked to find a Betamax videotape. That's, I feel like that's the last time that's ever gonna happen to me too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was before VHS, right? Yeah. You, you'd know, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, throw it out, get it out, get it out. Good night, baby. 
I'm Becky. I, I never did anything like this, but you yeah. know, I enjoy it, and you know, I like the people I work with. What's your favorite kind of job to work on? I, I like mold. Yeah. You know, every, every hoarding job's different. Yeah. Um, it could be a very biohazardy type type gig that could be dangerous with contamination. Strong. This year, how many hordes have you done so far? Um, this is my first. I've been on a handful of mold. I've seen them, but this is my first like this. How do you feel so far? Good, good. Okay. Try to keep everybody motivated and moving. Yeah. Back to work. Go ahead, make my day. Got a bandolier upstairs. Some rounds in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat. You haven't seen upstairs? No. You want to go take a look? Like peek real quick? Oh, there's a third floor. Is she holding a real baby in that painting, or is that a doll? It's a painting, so who knows? Has anyone been to the third floor yet? <laughs> yeah. The place up there? <laughs> yeah. You don't even want to see it, huh? No. <laughs> Brother found uh, an old Ouija board. I don't really like messing with these things. I don't even like holding it, to be honest with you, but, you know, seems like it's all there. That's a classic one. So. Spooky, spooky. I, I don't like these things at all. I just, oh, it's great, now I'm haunted. <laughs> They're really weird. I used one one time and ended up like having scratches pop up on my back. Whoa. And like my mom, I, I felt something weird on my back and I asked my mom, like what's going on? She looked at it and as she was looking at it, she took my phone and she was recording scratches like physically popping up out of nowhere. That's it's crazy. freaky, so yeah, I don't, I don't like these things. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize there were steps. Yeah, what's okay. up? I can, I can. Okay, so we got them upstairs. Probably a lot of stuff up there, we have no idea. It probably is, yeah. Be careful on the steps, I don't know how sturdy they are. Oh, there's a bike. Oh, that's a cool bike. You always want to kind of test your footing when you're in places like these so you don't fall through. A lot of photos up here, actually. Yeah, They're going to want to keep that's, those. That's so a lot of pictures. More baby doll. You ever see Ghostbusters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little Dremel kit. That's cool. That's old. That's a cheap like Dremel kit. No way. I think this is from like the 40s. Got a bunch of fuses in there. <laughs> Motor oil. It's actually got oil in it still. It's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse up here. Yeah. There's already a lot of insulation, but well, this can just be thrown out. More ammo. Looks like an old like. He might have actually cast them these. Some 38s. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of tools that people could be using. We're wrapping up day one. It's raining. So it got a little ugly. As you can see from the, my outfit, it gets pretty dirty in doing what we're doing. But we had a heck of a good day. We've had three scrap metal trucks come by and take a lot of scrap metal away. They'll keep coming tomorrow and the day after as we get through this. But we probably already unloaded two tons worth of scrap metal. The daughter of the gentleman who lived here and passed on was just here. We gave her picture albums and we found two deeds, two home house deeds. We found, we had collected maybe $200 in coins, just money that was lying around we, we collect as we go. And a Christmas ornament that she asked us to look for, we found it, a nice big Christmas ornament. Uh, she's thrilled to death with how we're doing and what we're doing. So I think today's been a little better than I expected. I think we got a little more done than I expected. Uh, the smell of the house has dissipated quickly because we've emptied out the, the kitchen, which is where all the, the disgust was. Uh, so tomorrow we come back and start just unloading all the rooms and there's a ton of clothes and a ton of just stuff that'll just go straight into the dumpster. We are almost finished filling a 40 yard dumpster, but day one's done, the rain will continue, but the spirits are high. Thanks. So this is day two. So far we've got about, I'd say about one fifth, one sixth of the dumpster full as it's gonna be. Uh, most of the first floor is cleared out. We have the second floor we're working on. Uh, basement we still haven't really even touched it. There's a lot a lot of stuff down there and one of the customers are going to come by and uh, gather some of the personal possessions to hand out to the family that, that wants them. There's some bullets down there, some presses, really just metal. Metal stuff is what he wants out of there. Pretty much everything else we got to throw away. There's moldy baby dolls and food from like the 60s and try to intentionally break a few of them open in the dumpster. 
<laughs> make my coworkers have a little bit more fun of the day. <laughs> Typewriter? Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Back in business. I'm out of here. See you guys. Picture from the Phillies. I don't know uh, if it got signed or, or what, but it's gotta be a reason it's framed, so I'll keep it for him. And then this is some sort of, um, sort of like Japanese Bear. ball or some ornament thing. I don't know if it means anything or if it's like supposed to be good luck, but there's a Japanese doll that goes with it over here. I said, hopefully nobody falls through the floor. I don't want to get hit with a, with a person. That wouldn't be super fun. If they fall through the floor and land on the couch, I'd give all my money and my savings. Yeah. Me? No. So as far as what the customer is looking for, family photos, any kind of jewelry or heirlooms, basically anything of value. Uh, I was happy that she kind of stressed that she wanted the family photos, so it shows that she does care. Can you just, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna get it out? Uh, with muscles. What muscles? Check out these dead babies. Dead babies in a cooler. This was full. It was full? It was full. What was in it? Uh, mostly just old clothing, stacks and stacks of hangers sitting at the bottom. We haven't been in this closet yet, so this is a brand new sneak peek. Anything cool? Maybe a bag for a prom dress and a bunch of hangers. Pretty and much the same thing we were looking Yeah, dust bunnies. Oh, wait, there's a body. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was trying to let one of them uh, lunchtime. We're all getting burned. <laughs> yeah, there was a, this whole bed was covered in them. I trashed most of them. Oh, I guess for radios? Tube radio? You're a natural. Wow. Have you done that before? Pro, <laughs> Pro triangle player. Alright, let's see. I've never seen a Santa look so sultry. I know, he's got a fake eyelash too. A little creepy. My name is Courtney. Before I started working here, I was a pharmacy technician. I actually didn't like it, it was kind of boring, standing in one area. Actually, my teacher sent me a link. Spalding and Deacon was the first to pop up. And I called it and Jonathan called me back and said, would I like to clean up nasty shit? And I said, I'm all down for it. What's up, my name is Lowe's. I just like spoiled a deep down because my sister looked out for me. Like I was going down the wrong path my whole life, you know what I mean? She helped me out, got me a job, came home. I like it so far. Yeah. Leave the co company keep growing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hopefully I could get a spot like her one time. Fold it. Get my sweat beating off my forehead. 32 and 300 mag. I think it's serious. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's a tooth. You can see what the carpet used to look like. It's like an outline of a body. A big <laughs> rectangular body. Yeah. Like SpongeBob. Oh no, SpongeBob. SpongeBob's huge. I mean, we don't know how big he is under the sea. That's, that's true. Ah, that's an old Bible. Oh, it smokes. Got a date from Philadelphia, John Potter Company, Sansom Street, all fruit flies. That's where you find stacks of money. It's getting tough now. <laughs> we're, we're getting closer to the end, but this is where our energy starts draining. I'm gonna go with poop. Yeah, honestly, it could be rust water. So if you notice a lot of these, that's water damage. So some of these stains are most likely due from water damage. Or soup damage. Or soup damage. <laughs> I like it. Order in the courts. I hold myself in contempt. <laughs> Either way, it's a collectible of some sort. I mean, it's, cool. it's like a four hour long movie. So. I think this might be the one that they were looking for. The Sean Connery. Here, check this. <laughs> 
They're fried. Who's this guy even looking at? He's not looking at what he's putting in his mouth. Is <laughs> yeah. that bacon? Did they have bacon back then? <laughs> Look at those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say what he did. I, he, careful, he used to play careful. golf. That, that's loose. I think he used to play golf. Yeah, that makes sense. Hold on. These are all for trap shooting. Check this out. Casper game. Does that even mean? Oh, yeah. I've never even seen it. I've never, never made a Casper game. Wow, that's crazy. Get it on. Ready? <laughs> that's really, really cool. Yeah. I didn't really know. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually pretty cool looking. <laughs> yeah, they do a little twirl. I kind of... <laughs> <laughs> like some wrestler cape. <laughs> yeah. The wrestler cape? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Went from deep to magic. You don't know who you're messing <laughs> with. <laughs> You got the cream. Yeah, I am the oh, cream man. of the crop. Rises to the top. This is Ric Flair. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! You're messing with Spalding Decon, brother. We're gonna clean the cream of the crop. We're gonna tear your couches apart. <laughs> Throw them in the dumpster. <laughs> so, we're getting toward the end of day two. I get to strip another full dumpster. This is, we have a couple of very large pieces of furniture that are coming out. That's the last things to go in. So we've been making space for it. We've got the uh, garage still to go back into. Don't know how big a job that's gonna be, but everything else is going great. Now we have a basement to do tomorrow. It's pretty ugly down there. Getting stuff up the stairs is gonna be hard. It's a little old rickety staircase. So there's danger in that. Day two almost over, we're doing great. There's Scotch whiskey, there's Irish whiskey, and this one, for instance, is from 1964. Look at those gravity eyeballs. Oh, you can see the eyes moving in. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that's huge! Yeah, that is big. Look at those ribs. Like eyeballs. Oh, that looks like some sort of intestine. Cow? Possibly? Maybe elephant? Uh -oh. oh my god. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. Hey guys, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy, happy Thanksgiving and let you know that we are super grateful for all of our fans. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your friends and family and please stay safe.